Now, this brings up the argument of the collective versus the individual. Which ideology will progress society farther? According to Objectivism 101, individualism, which states that each individual is, is acting on his or her own, making their own choices to the extent that they interact with the rest of the group, it's as individuals. Collectivism is the second way, and it views the group as the primary entity with the individuals lost along the way. As far as America and Western society is concerned, it's an individualistic society. You think about yourself and your immediate family, and that's that. Once you're an adult, you make your own money, you live in your own place, and if anything gets between you and your goals, you punch it out of the way. This is why Reggie sits alone, because nobody gets him and his poetry. Capitalistic competition breeds individualism. It's an economic system based in winners and losers. There's a prize and someone is going to get it. Don't you want that to be you? Wait, what, what's the prize? That is the kind of question that is not what individualistic capitalism is about. And now nobody gets the prize. Fame is an individualistic idea. You are the one that leads the peons with your art or whatever your choice of profit and manipulation is. A lot of us are still trying to go viral. And that's another phrase that doesn't really make sense to my little immigrant mind. Why would you want to compare yourself to something that spreads around and kills people? I'd like to go antidote, please. Counter the viral videos. Fame and climbing the corporate ladder can only be achieved if you do and follow what the individuals controlling that fame and that ladder want you to say or do. So the individualism preached in America and other westernized countries is manufactured, like a car or a pair of headphones. It's a product to be bought and sold. It's part of the collectives that tells you you're an individual by buying and doing what everyone else does. If you're a skeptical person that looks to figuring out how the world works and why it works the way it does and whether we can change the systems that aren't working, you're probably more of an individualistic thinker. But because you're asking questions, you don't win, and you sit at the lunch table alone with a big scarlet L on your forehead. How many times has any of us that, that think skeptically, that, that are true free thinkers, have been told by our parents, why can't you behave like so-and-so? They follow all the rules. If I had a penny for every time that I was asked that, I would, I would have like, like $8.00. Now, that's not to say that collectivism is all good or all bad either. It is how we arrived where we are, collective tribes working together for survival. Hell, I mean, we even partnered with canines and made them a part of our collective to help us survive. Cross-species collectivism. The major fear here is that you're part of a collective, you will lose your unique identity. You know the one that you're told you have? We would be lost to the void of the hive mind. Now the examples I just gave you are how these ideas are twisted and used as a form of manipulation to deem what is and isn't normal. And the abnormal is cast out so the normal individuals can hold on to their freedoms that they are told they have.